Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Today we're talking hair and this idea for this video came into my head whilst getting ready this morning. So recently I have been buying, yes, absolutely more products for hair. And at the moment what I've been looking for is a sort of clay, is it like a paste or a putty to help my hair have a little bit more height, a little bit more volume, a little bit more texture. And very often with all the different products I try, I I, I come back to the same ones. They're not expensive. Um, and I've tried from all different ranges on the high street, expensive ones, sort of moderate range and cheaper. But the one I keep coming back to, bear in mind, the products which I try are good and they're of a good quality. But I think for price wise, for quality and for that, that same good quality style and that sort of that tool of being able to create that really good style, I keep coming back to this product. And I'm just going to jump straight in with them. And they are from the VO5 range. Now, you will probably notice from my last clip it was a VO5 product. Now, that that's just a sheer coincidence, to be quite honest with you. However, I do like VO5 products, and I noticed actually when I went in to Boots that they have, which is a which is a, a store which we have on the high street here in the UK, if you're not watching this in the UK, and they've changed their packaging, and which I really, really love. VO5 are really sort of, um, they're, I believe they're a, a UK-based product, and they have that really nice heritage about them. Um, quite a traditional product now, and which I love is they've got the colours, sort of, I believe, the Union Jack on front of them, and it's a really nice sort of touch towards those products. So what products are we looking at today? So we are looking at matte clay and matte fibre, both very nice products to be able to jump in when you've got that natural uh, you've got that natural look you don't want too much product in your hair but however you want that really nice style and you want that really nice shape and you want that really nice hold to last now if you've watched any of my clips before you will know that I like a lot of volume a lot of height and a lot of a lot of sort of wow sort of a lot of going on in my hair and a lot of my styles I really like that and I really like the traditional pompadour style now you will notice I haven't got that today it's a really windy day out today so what I very often do if this is the case I ever use my I use a, a really nice gel or like a pomade and I dry my hair back of course choosing from a whole host of different shampoos and conditioners in my armory of products and I then dry my hair back and in no particular way, just literally dry my hair back and then I either gel my hair back or I use a pomade and I do that nice 1920 sort of inspired combed slick back or side slick back style where sometimes what I do is take a parting from one side and then take my hair over really, really neat and then comb at one side, comb at the other side and then straight down at the back. So you've got that nice flowing style. I say inspired from the 1920s. For me, it's 1910s, 1920s, my favourite era, really nice classic groom slick styles, very sort of gentlemanly like styles, which is very me and I really do like them. Um, but if I don't use that, what I then do is I dry my hair back and I take a product such as a matte clay or a fiber. And then what I do is I then uh, pull the product through my hair. So I get these sort of defined parts. And then literally when that brings it all the way back towards the back of my head, I then get that nice shape and then spray it. But here's the question which the main clip is about today. Matte clay, matte fiber. What's the difference and how would you be able to differentiate that? Let's jump in with that straight away. So let's just have a look at the products again. So we've got matte clay, matte fibre. OK, so starting with the matte clay. So matte clay, I would say, is for shorter hair types. And in fact, actually, it does say this on the back of the packaging here. So for normal hair and short cuts, of course, not necessarily. My hair length now is actually just past my nose, probably probably sort of halfway between the bridge where I'm just pointing to here, not quite to my lip at the moment. But I would say with matte clay, and the reason why is because um, because my, my twin brother's hair has very short hair, literally about an inch, maybe an inch and a half. He's actually growing it out now a little bit. Um, now, matte clay, I know, is really, really good for creating texture and firmness in the hair for shorter styles. Now, what it does is it lifts the hair away from the scalp and it really creates a really nice defined look. And you don't have to worry about using products over the top. You don't have to then worry about spraying it in place or anything like that. If you've got shorter hair or you've had it texturized, you've had it sort of cut into a bit, you've got all different mixture of lengths, that nice sort of, sort of spiky look, then a matte clay for you will be great. Let's have a look at the texture. So it's easy for me to say, but let's actually show you. So this is a matte clay and a lot of matte clay products are like this. And you might not be able to see from here, but the texture is like of a very thick paste. 
And if you can just sort of see, it's like a cream, but it's literally like a clay. And it's really, really nice, again, for short styles. It's great for really getting in your hair and lifting up those short sort of uh, short hairs and creating that nice texture. Perhaps you want to sort of take your hair off to the front uh, so you've got that nice sort of side slip sort of slightly fringe off to the side you've got that nice height on the top you've got a nice spikiness really really great product to look at and a certainly great product to try so that's the clay for you i probably in my opinion of course if you've got longer hair and you're using a clay fantastic keep using it but a clay for me is a product which gives you a nice texture for shorter hair however if you've got longer hair what's really really great for hair like my length which is a bit longer if you've got a style and you've brushed it back off or if you've done a pompadour what I really like I'm just going to put this in my hands what I actually do find myself doing with a clay even though I've said it is for short hair so primarily I'd say jump in with short hair with that but if you're wanting those defined parts like for me for example and you've got like these sort of what I say, I use my fingers and I pull them through my hair. So you've got that nice sort of element where you pull it through and you've got those sort of nice defined sort of that nice shape coming through. As you can see, I've just like what I'm doing here, literally just pulling it through my hair and then it sort of stays in place. So you've got that nice sort of shape. And if you've got hair length like me, a little bit in your hands at the side. And that's really nice. What I always do then is. I then spray my hair all over with a free spray so I know if I'm going out into the wind or if it's bad weather or anything like that, it's going to stay in place. Picking up on another point which I had a recent comment from, if it is windy, if it's bad weather outside, I tend to stay away with having fine hair, styles which are a lot of heights. Because I find if you haven't got the right product or if you're in a bit of a rush, you can guarantee without using the, a great freeze hold product, it's going to be flapping about everywhere. So really a style like this or a comb slick back style will suit bad weather and for a clay if you've got short hair perfect for getting giving you that stability that sort of anti-gravity sort of effect which really stays in place and I can vouch for that because my twin brother has short hair and it's perfect and it's an absolute go-to product to use. We're comparing on this clip here in regards to matte fiber so both of course look the same on the packaging Let's move on to the matte fiber. So clay, for example, let's just recap on that. So for the VO5 clay, okay, short hair, perfect. Great for creating that nice structure, that nice stability in your hair, particularly if you've got short hair. If you've got longer hair, dried straight back like this, it's great for creating those defined sort of pieces in your hair. Perhaps you're gonna go ahead with a uh, like a pompadour style and you use a clay. What's really, really great is if you shampoo, conditioned your hair with a thicker, uh, thickening product, like what I do if you've got fine hair like me, it doesn't necessarily mean you're losing hair. If you've got a finer texture of hair, what sits flat, thickening shampoo, conditioner, dry it through. Then when you go to style your hair, okay, perhaps you don't really wanna to use too many products. A little bit of clay, lifting it in through, grab a comb, comb it into place, and then so you don't want it too combed you want to break it up make it a little bit more trendy a little bit of clay between your hands and literally gently so you're not touching your scalp gently pull your fingers through i promise you it will break the style up what i like to do is blow dry my hair upwards and then off to the side and if it's slightly longer a little bit of clay on my hand so it creates that definition pull my fingers slowly through my hair and then leave it smooth off to the side gently through the top of my hair but don't press down onto your scalp just literally touch the top of your hair and pull it through slowly and then spray it that definition stays all day with a clay absolutely brilliant lovely product to use let's move on with the matte fiber the matte fiber again coincidence we're using vo5 but it's a favorite product of mine which i'll jump in with but a clay is pretty much like that how we've explained for me in my opinion if you think differently then absolutely that's fine it's going to work different for everybody but i think for me general consensus that's what i would use a clay for a fiber on the other hand let's jump in with the texture okay so a fiber on the other hand is a product let's just get in here is and you can see straight off it's almost like a thick sort of dense butter sort of texture or like a, a rather than being the the clay was like a putty substance quite quite sort of thick dense um and sort of really really stiff and gets in there and really really supports the structure of the hair the fiber the matte fiber you can sort of rub that in and it's a bit firmer but what it actually does is it gives you that sort of almost elasticity and it's really difficult to show you on here but if you can imagine sort of um like a a texture which sort of and you can see sort of like it's uh, you've got like sort of strings away from the texture of the fiber 
What the fibre is really, really good at doing is it supports hair. So if you've got finer texture of hair, if you're going to style your hair, what a fibre does is it really gets in there and it lifts the hair up. Now, if I can, I'm just going to show you whilst we are doing the video. So if you take a fibre and you really want your hair to sort of lift, what's really, really good is getting a fibre into your hair. And what you can do is you can get that fibre into your hair. Now, please just bear with me because you can see I've used a little bit of clay through this. But the fibre is really nice of getting in your hair and it helps with finer texture of hair because what I find it does is it is it links, is it, it sort of binds to the hair, the hair is what you have and it kind of supports it, makes it a little bit more thicker. It gives you a little bit more flexibility. It makes the hair thicker but yet it sort of supports it so you can have that really nice trendy look. And as you can see in seconds, I've gone from a flatter sort of style with the fibre, the matte fibre, and literally I've gone in, rubbed some in my hair, and I've gone down to my scalp, through all the strands of my hair and into the back, and then we've literally lifted it and changed that style completely, which is a really nice style, and very often I style my hair like this. If you want to, you can get quite crazy, and you can really sort of lift the hair up. And again, less is more with a fibre product, I think, and really get in there and lift it from your scalp and it gives you that sort of structure. Whereas the clay would support it quite stiff, you can't necessarily do this without sort of pulling and tugging at your hair. The fibre, you can. And as you can sort of see, the fibre really gives you that sort of, almost like a, a, a structure. And you can see, spray that with a freeze hold hairspray or blasting spray by Swartzcroft, the yellow can which I very often use in my clips. And what a nice style. You can go as high as you want, or if you want, you can really flatten it down. What does it suggest on the back of the uh, can, uh, packaging here? So normal to fine hair, mid to length cuts. So yeah, for shorter hair, you could still use this if you wanted to. Um, but for longer hair, as you can see, a fiber really lets you get into the hair and really likes and really allows you to sort of create quite elaborate sort of detail and makes things thicker so if you are not blessed with thicker hair a fiber product is the way to go and you know from when i do my pompadour styles this has to be one of my favorite products which i come back to especially from the vo5 range i really really love a fiber product because if you if you've got a day where you shampooed and conditioned your hair, perhaps you've used, you've not really used it, you use the first thing in the family bathroom and it's made your hair a little bit more flatter, a little bit more, uh, a bit more polished, so it's a bit more difficult to sort of get that nice style. A fibre almost sort of binds itself to the hair and really lifts and allows you to work and comb through and really style it. Best thing as well, what you can do as well, if your hair's a little bit damp and you put a fibre product in there, get that blow dryer and lift the blow dryer up away from your scalp and then jump in with a product like this and literally really really nice product to create that nice thicker style absolutely lovely and a really nice product to be able to jump in with price wise both of them absolutely just touch on packaging by the way as well love the packaging really sort of patriotic here in the uk for the colors what vo5 use on those containers really really nice ones to use really nice really really love that price wise offer at the moment two for six pounds and I very often buy that in either Tesco's um, a super store, uh, supermarket here um, uh, here in the UK or a Boots on our high street here. Really, really nice product to use. So thank you very much for watching and I really, really hope you enjoyed that clip. I certainly have. Give them a go if you haven't done so already. It doesn't necessarily have to be VO5. Of course, this is personal opinions, not a representation of the company at all. It's because I enjoy using hair products and I'm sharing that with you. So really, really jump in with them. Give them a try. And I really hope you have enjoyed this clip as much as I have. So until next time, thank you very much for watching and we will see you then. Bye bye now. Before you go, something I just forgot. When we describe the products, we describe them as matte. So matte clay and matte fibre. What's matte mean, you may well ask if you don't know already. So matte is no shine. And you know, when you've got a finer texture of hair, that is one of the best things you can choose to use. Because if you're using something which creates shine, very often if you've not got that density in your hair, a shiny product can actually make the illusion of less hair. So if you've got a matte product, that can actually help enhance the look of much thicker and enhanced 
hair in density. So it's really worth always, if you've got hair concerns, looking for a matte product. BF5 have a perfect range for matte products. If you want to always enhance that with shine afterwards, then of course you can pick up a free spray or any type of hairspray which will add a shine. And very often, if you are keeping your hair in top tick condition with great shampoo and great conditioner and products, your hair should have a natural shine anyway. But a matte product will always help enhance the density and thickness of your hair. Okay, thanks very much for watching and until next time we will see you then. Bye bye now.